Hey everyone, I wanna show you a super simple RAG deployment managed fully by AWS Bedrock. I have this running in my dev environment for pennies a month. All of the RAG implementation is managed within S3 and the Bedrock console, and all I need to do to consume this is have an application that makes a simple API call to Bedrock. Let me show you how to set this up. This takes away a lot of the undifferentiated heavy lifting when it comes to managing your vector database. It really simplifies your code because you don't have to stitch together RAG with a framework like LangChain. It's just a single API call. Fast forward if you wanna see how to set this up, I'm just gonna walk you through how it works before I go through the configuration. So I, I mentioned there's a single API call that enables this RAG deployment. That API call is this, the retrieve and generate API call for Amazon Bedrock. The way this implementation works is very simple. I'm gonna be using the Cloud LLM. Whenever I invoke that retrieve and generate API call from a client, it's gonna hit what we call the Bedrock Orchestrator. And this is what will take care of all that heavy lifting. What the orchestrator will do is based on your prompt, it will query a knowledge base. That knowledge base will respond with some context to pass in to the LLM. And then, and that large language model will ultimately respond back to the client via the Bedrock APIs. So from the client side, all it is is a single API call, all with your prompt, and all of this orchestration and RAG lookup is happening behind the scenes managed by Bedrock. Another thing that's great about this is when it comes to managing your storage and your vector embeddings, all of that is managed, again, via Bedrock. You simply throw everything you want to be stored in your vector database into an S3 bucket. You select your vector embedding model, and then you sync that. You can do it manually via the console every time you upload new files, or you can even look at automating this to sync daily so that way your vector database stays up to date. All right, let me show you how I created this in the console. Within the Amazon Bedrock service, to build this, I simply went to knowledge bases and I clicked create new knowledge base. Creating the new knowledge base is pretty simple. I run through the wizard, an IEM role. I choose an S3 bucket that I want to store any data that I would like to use for this RAG deployment. I select my vector embeddings model, and then I select a vector database. Now, this is where you have some options. By far, the simplest deployment is OpenSearch. However, OpenSearch does have a monthly cost that may not be great for folks that are doing this in their personal environment. If you're doing this at work, OpenSearch is probably what I would suggest because there's a managed OpenSearch offering right here in this wizard, and it's tightly integrated with Bedrock. However, what I've chosen is Pinecone because there's a free tier of Pinecone that I can use in my dev and buy. I was gonna roll this out into production, I would probably use open search because then all of my data can stay in the AWS cloud and I can control the security to the my data the same way I'm controlling security to everything else in AWS. In order to add the knowledge base, I ended up pulling my API key from Pinecone as a secret in AWS. I agree with Pinecone. If I'd use open search, it would have been a lot simpler because I could just use IAM roles. With just a few clicks like you saw a moment ago, I now have a knowledge base deployment, okay? So my S3 bucket it simply holds a text file, but this is where you would put all of your documents that you wanted to perform RAG on with your deployment. Now, I just wanna show you the contents of this text file so you can understand what happens in the demo, okay? This is a simple text file that describes features of a fake product called Flux 3000. I chose a fake product because I wanted to prove that the knowledge base is working rather than pulling from data that the underlying model, which in this case is Claude 2, was trained on. So. To test this out, again, you could simply write an app that uses this API call in an AWS SDK, such as Boto3. That's what I've done. But there's also a nice way to test this via the console. I can click test. I can select my model. In this case, I'm gonna select Claude Instant. I suspect Claude 3 will be an option here soon, which I'm excited to test out. And now I'm gonna simply ask, tell me about Flux 3000. See, and with even even a typo in my prompt, tell about Flux 3000, what happened is it spat back this information, which again is information that I have loaded into my vector database about this fake product. It's a high provision, precision sensor designed for blah, 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 and the knowledge base was able to pull that. So remember, think about this in a real world environment. This might be documents that you need to be able to search internally via chat interface very efficiently, and that's why you might want to use something like this. So just to recap, what you have to do is set up the knowledge base in Bedrock and then make that single API call, no complex orchestration frameworks, no vector embedding models, just a simple managed service that takes care of all of that heavy lifting.
So go build a RAG app if you need to. It's super simple, simpler than ever with services like Amazon Bedrock. Peace.